Was that electricity? Oh, they're shooting electricity at me. I think we have electric biters here. Yeah, they're definitely shocking me. Oh, shoot. I can't wait to see if there's different armors to try out. Or they have different weaknesses. So these are electric biter nests. What happened to all the wasp spitters? I wonder if they can damage walls easily. I mean, electricity against stone walls doesn't seem like it should do much damage. Electric worms. Oh, there's a laser worm here too. Okay, so there's laser and electric down here. Oh. Shoot, those are electric. Okay, those are electric. Obviously, there's Leviathan sprinkled around everywhere as well. I think what I want to do is be careful with uh, how fast I advance so that I can keep the drones concentrated. Oh, shoot! I'm gonna die. Alright, let's sit back here and recover for a second. Our drones are all on the border for some reason. They do manage to, to shoot at my walls very quickly. But okay, our health is recovering slowly. We can slowly wade back in. Again, this is the, the harder front because there's just a bunch of different types of biters on this side. Man, I just got six, but it might be time to go to eight already. Also, I'm running out of magazines, so I, again, I really shouldn't be using it unless it's for my own self-defense. Okay, there's a biter nest here. As far as I want to push this back, I guess... I mean, it's a very thick line down there. <coughs> also, I don't know what's spreading this purple stuff. I'll just feel it out how far I want to push back, but I gotta remember to sweep back and f uh, you know left and right so that they don't surround me somehow. Those are laser drones, nice. Again, very cool at night. Um, electricity. I'm surprised they don't generate uh, some kind of light when they fire. Oh my god, that one sprinted. I swear to god, some of these are like sprint biters or something. I can't read that. Oh, I'll read it in post. Destroying rocks for me to pick up. Come on, guys. Making sure to always light up the areas. Oh, I'm kind of by myself. Where do my drones go? Oh, they're all doing their own thing. I 
Yeah, I'm gonna drain my entire magazine into that, so I'll let something else take care of it. The entity's being damaged. Okay, I don't know why you guys are all the way out there. Oh, and they're setting my forests on fire. And I can't save that portion. I can't save this forest fire. Um, hopefully it doesn't spread too far. I, I can't imagine how it wouldn't spread too far. I mean, it's going to just consume... I mean, I thought they would put themselves out, but honestly, I, I've never been shown any proof that they would put themselves out. Oh, I don't have vision on it anymore. Okay. Well, <laughs> all I can do is hope that there's forest out there uh, at some point. But anyways, I got four drones back with me, so let's go ahead and continue to clean up some more of the biters. This guy's kiting a bulk of them, so we can actually take out these nests real quick. I do maybe want a grappling hook in to see if it's um, if there's anything salvageable of the forest, but I'm kind of afraid that it's just burning everything right now. Yeah, if we check the pollution cloud, we can see that it's definitely spreading. I just hope it doesn't burn literally the entire forest down. Oh, thank you, John Boy. Yeah, see, John Boy's very loyal. He's always, he's always right there. Oh, well, I mean, there he goes. Never mind. That's more crafting speed. Um, I guess I'll hold off for now because I don't know how much iron I still have left at the base. Okay. Alright. This has been a suitable pushback. Um, I will make a quick grapple suicide trip over there. I hope these don't kill me. Oh, Jesus. Just to see what the status is on the fire. Um, okay, it's going to kill itself here. Are they putting out the fires? Oh! Oh, I don't know. No, they're not. The fires are just killing biters. Alright, the fires put itself out on this side. Uh, and it's about to go out on this side. Um, shoot, I'm surrounded. I don't want to really use any biters to, I mean any of my companion drones to fight or to put out the fire um, because they're busy fighting. Actually no, I've got to get them out here so these are the spawner spitter nests. We'll go here. Okay, we can we can deconstruct some of these trees. Let's prevent this forest fire please. Alright, and the forest fire has been prevented. Great! I've saved the rest of my rest of my, uh, rest of my playthrough. Okay, the rest of this forest. Okay. Jesus. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do the thing where I just run away now. 
and I let my companion drones go crazy. Uh, this has been a pretty good clear out. I think this has bought me enough time. This has definitely bought me a lot of time, but I think it's bought me enough time to, to build up my, my defenses, or to build up my magazine production again. Yeah, and for the time being, they're gonna they're gonna go wild out there. Where's John Boy? John Boy's not with me, which is surprising. John Boy, not John Boy. John Boy, not John Boy. Um, John Boy, not John Boy. Where's John Boy then? You're not here. You're not here. Oh, okay. John Boy has come back. Okay, John Boy came back. They're still sending biters up here, which is crazy. I just cleared everything out. I guess they mean the scouting parties, but... And you guys are doing good. Just try to kill as much as you can. I don't even know if they can, but yeah, it's fine. My base should hold up for now. Again, back to uh, focusing on military. So as I fly back to base, I guess I'll explain. We were removing the raw coal to the main base, and it should be removed now. The lead ore should be back at base as well. The next thing we're going to do after that is remake magazine production. So that's with sulfur, gun. we need gunpowder, which we need sulfur to make, and we need to re-automate the magazines, which I realize we also need to remake steel, or just make steel initially. Also, we have to figure out where we're going to put this military production, because this area was supposed to be for circuit ones. I guess we could make it down here, kind of in this area. We'll bring some of the some of the lines down here and make it like here in this area. This is my decision. It'll be right here in this craggy area because it shouldn't be that big. Okay, I don't see any large pipes of lead ore, so I'm just going to assume that it all made it down here and got turned into lead plates, which it seems like it did. Um, otherwise. Again, this steel production is useless because steel can't be made in Fernai anymore. Or, actually, I don't know how steel is made, but uh, it's not made like this anymore. Uh, let's go ahead and update our board. Okay, this should be a quick update. Remove raw coal to main base is done. Lead ore is now in the main base. Nice. Uh, the next step is sulfur. Uh, and let's go ahead and figure that out. Uh, I also moved some of this stuff over to this side, particularly this, because steel plate production is needed to remake the magazine production, because it's used in the magazines. So, ooh, I don't like how it's... Well, it's this one specifically. Hmm, actually, let me fix it. Okay, I just made this part of the bigger group. I don't need all jaw crusher upgrades, but I don't like individual pieces sticking out, so uh, this is how it is for now. Uh, again, next up, figure out sulfur. Or, I suppose, I can't make steel, so maybe I should do the jaw crusher upgrades first. That shouldn't take that long. So I'll do the jaw crusher upgrades, because I think that's how I make the steel, uh, and then I'll use those. So, yeah, jaw crusher upgrades is next, not the military production. By the way, our iron production is abhorrently healthy, so we can go ahead and pick another research inventory size. I'll increase it. Um, because we make way more iron plates than we know how to use. In fact, we might want to scale up production. Oh no, look, we're we're running out of these science packs. So, we were still using them in full in full bl uh, you know, we were in full blast using them and it still wasn't consuming them in time. Oh, actually, for jaw crushers, we're going to need to do copper processing first. So, that will cut the line real quick. Um, and we should get that out of the way before we do the infinite inventory again. Uh, I think to start off, I will flex my new inventory space by deleting everything here uh, and getting rid of this steel line. Uh, we can reuse it when we remake steel, but for now, we don't need this line here. We need to make sure that electricity still gets across, and my inventory still managed to fill up. Whoops, okay. All right, so here is the plan. We have 15 iron ore, or not even 15, but up to 15 iron ore per second. We are gonna feed it to six jaw crushers, which will make processed iron ore and stone. Processed iron ore takes 
uh, 18 stone Furni, we have 20 set up right now, so we can just get rid of two of them uh, at the very end and have it consume the processed iron ore instead. Um, and then we'll also have a stone output. Uh, the stone will link up to the stone input over here and I will have to jerry-rig some kind of input mechanic or input priority um, for stone. That way it uses up our, our excess stone first before it uses the other stone. I wanted to use our stone byproduct before using the stone from stone mining. Uh, and that should be pretty easy enough. Okay, so it was silly of me to assume that Pi would let me get something so soon. So the only other way to make copper plate, again, let's check the copper plate recipes. Yep, is this way um, using copper grade 2. But in order to get copper grade 2, we need to crush up uh, copper ore. Um, and in order to do that, we need an automated screener. Uh, and the automated screener takes circuits to make so we can only upgrade iron for the time being which is which is fine so let's go ahead and upgrade our iron okay here's my quick crusher test run uh, I made a small tileable compact area uh, it feeds in the iron ore and the iron the processed iron and the stone should come right out immediately I'm seeing maybe we need to increase the number of inserters it does take four so <clears throat> all right with double they are still not reaching speeds that they need to be. All right, here it is with three inserters on each side. They're all long, uh, and it seems like, despite that, they still do have a second where they don't run. I might have to see, maybe I can come up with a way to use compact loaders to insert instead, because I think jamming in a fourth one, well, yeah, jamming in a fourth one seems less than ideal to me. All right, here is my final test with the decoration. So let's go ahead and see. So I've managed to fit more inserters in. There's a fourth one in, and I've put all the, the power poles and the lamps in. So it should work. It seems like we're consuming an entire belt of iron ore so far. I also, yeah, I'll just leave it like that. I'll just leave it tileable. Iron ore seems to be being, it's being consumed. Uh, it's nice, it's small, it's compact. Uh, I will, and I like it, yeah, and it, it also, it just makes sense that the background is this, the, the, the iron gravel. Um, but the processed iron will be shipped back to where the iron ore originally was supposed to go in, and then we will burn that instead. Again, the stone will go off and be used to prioritize, and I will make that prioritization device right now. Alright, I mean, it's that easy. This looks a little confusing, but we're going to pretend this up here is my stone mine. Um, let's say we have no excess uh, stone coming in. The stone mine basically just goes around in this loop and goes through as normal. But if we do have stone coming in, what will happen is that the stone on the inside lines will take priority from the stone on the outside lines so that this won't move, but these will always be uninterrupted like that. So we can test this again. If we just close this off and let it build up for a second, we can do a, a more proper test with a bigger group of stone coming in. Here we go, here's a more proper test. We will put this in and we can clearly see that these lines stop, this one never stops, uh, so we have priority for this lane. Also, it seems like something in my system messed up, but it's full of processed iron and stone, and I think that's just a quirk of the infinity chest sending some of those through by accident for some reason. I think my design is still foolproof, but I will void them somewhere else just in case it isn't. One final test. All right, so I'm watching it. It's been a times four speed for some time now, and everything is working perfectly. There's no processed iron or stone ending up in the middle line. And as you can see here, my splitter actually also evenly splits between the left and the right side, or I guess it really depends on what is coming in. So um, I think uh, we're ready to go ahead and port these over to the new world. Uh, I guess I could blueprint this, but I know how to make this from scratch so I, I won't blueprint it I'll just blueprint the processed iron which is nice and small and I'll just put it somewhere to the left of our main furnace area uh, I'm deciding where to put it right now and I'm thinking I mean I don't want to put it right next to it to give it more space and in, in, in case we need more furni but I don't want to put it too far either 
I think basically pressed up as far against this as we can go is probably good enough. I'll give it like one tile of space, so I think this is a good spot. Uh, and then I'll work on the connections in and out. Uh, and here we go. Here was the priority thing uh, I was talking about. Now the stone comes up and around and it goes in here and the main stone line is uh, from excess stone coming from our processed iron over here and uh, in the future any leftover stone that we have. And for now I guess I will just decorate all this. Again this belt is getting really thick and, and bleh, unwieldy. Alright and it's finally time to plug it in. So here comes iron ore. Uh, and it should flow all the way up here, get turned into stone and processed iron before it comes back here and gets smelted in these fern uh, in these ferni. Uh, and there we go. So the processed iron is, or the iron ore is coming in, processed iron is coming out, and the stone is coming out as well. Um, now all we have to do is make sure this works. Um, there's residual iron ore stuck in a bunch of these, so I think I'm just going to pick up the entire block um, and put it back down again. Uh, we have plenty of rock coal, so let me just give that to these guys first. So we have processed iron coming in and iron plates coming out, so that's all set. Uh, the next step was to put processed iron in, or iron plates in, or this is where I was confused. I, I really thought I had the ability to make steel plates using crushers, but uh, instead it's something completely different. Now we have to use iron ore and coke and limestone and put it in an advanced foundry, which I can make. So I can make an advanced foundry, but I don't really have dedicated coke production. So I guess I should go ahead and finally make the dedicated coal and coke production so that I can combine with iron ore, which means I'm splitting off part of this iron ore uh, which is a shame because I didn't want to split it up anymore, but it will be split up so that we can have half going into uh, steel plate production and then half going into processed iron. And we will need a steady stream of steel plate production this time because we need that for magazine. Uh, we need them for magazines. Hey, you know what else I need a steady stream of? Patrons, come support me. Thanks, Ema. Thanks, John Boy.